Hey there, this is Patrick at Stop Spraying Us, and uh, this is a really cool website, shipmap.org, because today we're going to talk about ship tracks and shipping lanes and such things. Um, you normally see me uh, looking at uh, NASA Worldview. So here's the world. Uh, this is with the uh, Terra satellite, Terra Modis satellite for uh, February 12th. Today is actually uh, the 13th. This is from yesterday. So, you know, I, you normally, when you, when you load it, uh, you see um, usually a bit more than this, but um, this is zoomed out to see the entire planet. But um, just look over here. Something that stands out like a sore freaking thumb. Wow, check out this. So um, I'll turn on place labels. So uh, there's San Francisco, there's me. Oh, I'm right there. And um, look at this. Um, well, first of all, let's go back. I want to just the size of this thing. So, um, here's this artificial system here, which curls around, and you can see all these ship tracks here. This ends up in frickin' Baja, and this is almost, all, all, if this is up into Canada, like, not quite Alaska, but pretty frickin' close. And, um, the shills will tell you, oh, these are ship tracks. Hmm. Ship tracks, eh? So, um... I don't think so. They are saying ships make tracks like this. And I'm sure they'll say it's only under certain atmospheric conditions or whatever. You know, the same BS they'll talk about the lines in the sky. Oh, it's uh, super special conditions. Um, uh, these are big. So there, if you look at the scale over here, that's 20 miles. These are 20 miles across, uh, thickening out to whatever. This is, you know, closer to, yeah, well, about 20 miles across. And uh, if, you, if you go back a day to the 11th, don't see them there. Uh, don't see them there, but anyway, go back to this mess like what so if these are being made by ships and certain ships with certain fuel and certain few you know atmospheric conditions um then you'd see these freaking things where ships are going but if you look at shipmap.org this is where the ships travel it's actually really cool. So you can actually zoom in. I'll go. Sorry. It's... Oh, hang on. I borked it. I'll just reload. Turn. Uh, get rid of this. All right. So if so, if I go, I'm using plus. Uh, Apple plus. Command plus to zoom in. So, of course, like ships go around the um, the shipping lines, right? You know, here's down here through the Suez Canal, around Sri Lanka, around here past uh, Singapore and up. And, you know, that's, this is where people go. And... Um, And here you see, they're all over the place. So where there are more ships, there should be more ship tracks. There should be a big, thick white line all around here. But for some reason, they're just here. Um, and again, if you go look at the, the world, uh, actually, I'll go uh, zoom out a bit. Where the, sh the shipping lines go around here, through there, around here, and 
there's not a big freaking white like 20 mile thick lines going through that stuff so um what is this what is it indeed so actually what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna show you a video there it's called a actually i'll pause here i'll get the video i'll be right back This is a wet surface air generator. And uh, you notice it's right beside a pond right here, source of water. You can create a lot. You can basically make clouds with these wet surface condensation things. I'll give the link in the description. So it's... Um, you can have these on ships and they are in water and can create a huge amount of clouds, artificial clouds. And you can see how these can end up being 20 miles wide. Uh, NASA, never a straight answer. <laughs> And this is a recent test. And uh, they're using, you know, this looks like, you know, it's part, it's part of, they can use whatever technology they can use, they can create huge plumes of clouds. So this is what's happening in, uh, on the sea. There's something that's generating these massive freaking plumes. If you have enough energy, you know, these uh, have ships powered by, you know, nuclear reactors. They have a lot of power on board, aircraft carriers and stuff. You know, because, you know, they can, ha they can have a lot of energy on these things. And there's no shortage of water because they're on the sea. And that's how this stuff gets made. And uh, I want to thank uh, Weather Wars 101 who uh, uh, pointed this out. He's, he actually was talking a lot about these uh, generators in... Uh, in formation of the hurricanes we had uh, this year. So anyway, that's... Um, yeah, look at this. So having seen what can be generated with a lot of power and the right equipment, you can make freaking huge uh, clouds from something which is... Uh, on the surface, like a ship, a ship could go along here, uh, pumping out a crap load of steam to create these clouds. And uh, there you have them. And uh, that's more shenanigans. But actually, while we're here, I, um, so that's, uh, like I said, I, I'm, I'm over here. This is me. I, we had a, a clear day yesterday. But when you go up to, uh, like, Shasta here, like, um, there's Mount Shasta, awesome place. You see the ripples, and there's this freaking hole there, and there's all kinds of shenanigans and stuff. You know, it's uh, just because you're not getting sprayed directly above doesn't mean you're not getting nailed some other way sad to say so anyway that's your thing so uh links in description to uh the water generator uh to uh the ship track shipmap.org which is really cool and there's other there's other places you can find this stuff so all right that's all for now and i shall talk to you soon bye for now